Hi everyone, I'm Miss Katie from Rockland Public Library and welcome to Rocket Storytime. Let's start off by clapping our hands. Can you clap your hands along with me at home? Here we go. We clap and sing hello. We clap and sing hello. To all our friends at Storytime, we clap and sing hello. Well done everyone. Let's go ahead and stomp our feet. I know you can't see my feet, but here are my knees. One, Two, are you ready to stomp with me? Here we go. We stomp and sing hello. We stomp and sing hello. To all our friends at story time, we stomp and sing hello. Well done, everyone. Today we're gonna to be reading some snowplow stories, which is perfect because it ended up being a very snowy day today. If you listen closely, you'll probably either hear the wind rushing or snow plows on the street. There are lots of snow plows out right now. So we're gonna use the word snow plow for our word of the day. Can you say snow plow? Snow plow, snow plow. That's what we're gonna use for bread and butter. For our bread and butter rhyme, we clap our hands and then we clap our knees. Clap our hands, clap your knees. Can you do that along with me at home? Clap your hands, clap your knees. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say snowplow as fast as we can. Snowplow, 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 snowplow. That's tricky. Snowplow, 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 snowplow. Are you doing any better at home? Let's see. Snowplow, 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 snowplow. That is a really tricky one. Let me try one more time. Snowplow, 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 snowplow. I like that one. I like when they're a little tricky. All right, let's try another. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say snowplow as slowly as we can. Snowplow. Oh, that's a great one to do slow. Let's do it one more time. Ready? Start off with that s, -s, -s noise. Snow plow. Great job, everyone. That one was fun. All right, let's do another. Here we go. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say snow plow as loud as we can. Snow plow. Good job. One more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say snow plow as quiet as we can. Snow plow, good job. Our first snowy plow story is called The Little Snow Plow. The Little Snow Plow is by Laura Hewler and illustrated by Jake Parker. The Little Snow Plow. Here's that little snow plow, Oh. On the mighty mountain road crew, the trucks came in one size, big. That is, until a new snowplow joined the crew. You're such a little snowplow, said the big trucks. Leave the heavy lifting to us. And off they roared. So all spring, the little snowplow cleared streams while the big trucks bulldozed mudslides. In the summer, he cleaned up after parades while the big trucks built roads. In the fall, he pushed leaves into piles while the big trucks mounded mountains of salt and sand. As fall turned into winter, the little snowplow began training. He made the light on top go around and around, and he blew his horn, beep, beep. Can you blow your horn? Beep, beep, and he drove forward and back, forward and back, and he raised and lowered his plow 10 times fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Everything was in working order. He could hardly wait for snow. Ha! Huh said the dump truck. You've never even seen snow. The little snow plow ignored him. He knew what snow was. Why, I remember snow up to the eaves, said the cement mixer. 
Yeah, we had a big, strong snowplow then, said the garbage truck. I hope it doesn't snow like that this winter, said the dump truck. It might be too much for a little snowplow. He'd probably, we'd probably have to help. He's being kind of grumpy, huh? The little snowplow turned his bumper to the trucks. But that night, he raised and lowered his plow an extra 10 times. And the next day, he added even more exercises. He pushed loads of gravel and he pulled the blocks of concrete, just in case. One morning, Will, the road crew foreman, burst in before dawn. It's a real blizzard out there. The dump truck snorted. Looks like there's already more than a little snowplow can handle. Beep, beep, vroom! The drifts looked soft and fun for the little snowplow. Let's go, said Will, and they drove out into the storm. The snowplow cleared the, ma the streets of the mighty mountain, but it kept on snowing. So the little snowplow cleared the streets of Mighty Mountain again. It snowed harder and the wind began to howl. <sighs> Once more, the little snowplow started to clear the streets. Deep drifts swirled around his treads. Icy gusts blew against the windshield. Snow piled up higher than he could raise his plow. He wondered if, if he should have done more plow lifts. I don't think so. I think he did a lot of work trying to prepare. This one's, uh, this one's too big for anyone to handle on their own, said Will. And he called for backup. Oh, can you hear the snow plow? It's here at the library. I knew that plow would need help. The dump truck grumbled as he drove out. The little snow plow wiped his windshield and kept on plowing. Silver Fork, Stampede Avenue, Main Street. That's when he heard a rumbling. What was it? He saw the dump truck drive by. Then the little snowplow turned and heard a thundering. He came around the corner of Main and Ridge and something's happening right there. I wonder what it is. <gasps> Just as an avalanche swept down the mountain, whoosh, beep, 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 the little snowplow cried. He's buried, Will yelled, no time to lose. But it will take hours for the big trucks to move these big boulders. The little snowplow drove forward, backed up, he repositioned, he edged forward, and he squeezed between the two fallen boulders. <gasps> Way to go, half pint, Will said. The big trucks couldn't have gotten through. The little snowplow plunged his plow into the avalanche debris. He dug and dug and dug. His engine sputtered, his exhaust shuddered, and the needle on his gas gauge started to drop. Will pointed. <gasps> There he is! The little snowplow dug faster. Dig, dig, dig. Creak, crack. More snow crashed behind him. Hurry, Will said. Shovels of snow flew in all directions. Will raced to attach the cable between the two trucks. The little snowplow drove forward and tugged. The dump truck revved his engines. His wheels spun. The little snowplow braced himself and pulled, just as he had practiced. The dump truck's wheels gained traction, and the little snowplow gave a mighty tug. Woohoo! cheered Will. The dump truck shook snow from his truck bed. I didn't know a snowplow so little could be so strong, he said. Beep, beep. The little snowplow blew his horn. Together, the two trucks worked to clear the boulder. When they finally got back to the garage, all the other trucks honked and beeped and blinked. Great job, they shouted. The little snowplow's 
headlights sagged, his plow dragged, his gas tank was nearly empty. But before turning in for the night, he made the light on top go around and around. He blew his horn, beep, beep. He drove forward and back, forward and back. And he raised and lowered his plow 10 times, slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoo! Everything was in working order. He could hardly wait for sleep. The end. Here he is. The end. Great listening, everyone. I think it's time for us to get up and pretend to drive a snowplow. Are you ready? Can you pretend to drive a snowplow? We're going to be just like Will, part of the, the snow crew. Here we go. She'll be driving a big snowplow when she comes. Push the snow. Can you push the snow with me? Can you push it back? Push the snow. Good job. She'll be driving a big snowplow when she comes. Push the snow. She'll be driving a big snowplow. She'll be driving a big snowplow. She'll be driving a big snowplow when she comes. Push the snow. Good job. How about we do another? Can we do a digger? Maybe there's a digger that's come to help with the snow too. She'll be driving a big digger when she comes. Scoop it up. Can you scoop up the snow? Scoop it up. Good job. She'll be driving a big digger when she comes. Scoop the snow. She'll be driving a big digger. She'll be driving a big digger. She'll be driving a big digger when she comes. Scoop the snow. Good job. Should we drive any more trucks? Maybe we can do a cement mixer. Should we do a cement mixer and mix everything up? Here we go. She'll be driving a cement mixer when she comes. Shake it up. Can you give a big shake? Good job, shake it up. She'll be driving a cement mixer when she comes. Shake it up. She'll be driving a cement mixer. She'll be driving a cement mixer. She'll be driving a cement mixer when she comes. Mix it up. Good job, should we do one more? Maybe we can do a roller. We can do a road roller. She'll be driving a road roller when she comes. Roll it flat. She'll be driving a road roller when she comes. Roll it flat. She'll be driving a road roller. She'll be driving a road roller. She'll be driving a road roller when she comes. Roll it flat. Great job, everyone. Nice job. I think we'll do our version of I'm a little teapot, but it's a dump truck. Do you remember doing this one from before? For this one, we're going to go like this. I'm a great big dump truck full of rocks. Can I see your rocks? Can you hold up your rocks? Good job. Full of rocks. Here is my engine and here is my box. Can you put your box behind you? Good job. When the crew is ready, hear me shout. Pull the lever and dump me out. Can you dump the dump truck back? Dump me out. Great job. Let's try that one more time. Ready? I'm a great big dump truck full of rocks. Do you have your rocks? Full of rocks. Here is my engine and here is my box. When the crew is ready, hear me shout. Pull the lever and dump me out. Good job, everyone. Well done. Let's read our second and last story today. This story is called Super Truck. Super Truck. And it is by Stephen Savage, Super Truck. The city is full of brave trucks. You see them all around? One's here. I see a fire truck. A dump truck. The bucket truck fixes the power lines. The fire truck puts out a blaze. Wee -oo, wee -oo. 
The tow truck rescues a bus. And the garbage truck? He collects the trash. One evening, it starts to snow. It snows and snows and snows. The city is caught in a terrible blizzard. Look, the fire truck is stuck. The bucket truck is stuck. The tow truck is stuck. Just then, the garbage truck sneaks into the garage and becomes, do you know what the garbage truck becomes? Super truck! Dun, da, da. It has a snow plow. Super truck. Super truck digs out the west side. He digs out the east side. He digs out the whole city. Hooray, more super truck. Look, he digs out the fire truck. He digs out the bucket truck. He digs out the tow truck. The next morning, the trucks wonder about that mighty truck who saved them. Who could that be? Well, he's back collecting the trash. The end. Great listening, everyone. Oh, look, he's headed back in. I think he might be a superhero. What do you think? He has his... I can find it. He has his glasses on when he goes in, just like he's Clark Kent, like he's in disguise, his alter ego. He has his glasses on, and then he puts on his snowplow, and all of a sudden, here he is, a super truck. And when he's done and back in disguise, he's back in his glasses again. What do you think? Is he not only a super truck, but a superhero? Maybe you'll even find some superheroes out on the road today since there are lots of snow plows around the library today. <laughs> Great listening, everyone. I think it's time for us to end story time with head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Are you ready to stand up and find your head? Here we go. Let's all stand up together and find your head. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great job, everyone. Let's try it again, are you ready? Here we go, find your head. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose, boop, boop. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Great job, everyone. Thank you all for coming today. And head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose move. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. I hope you all have a wonderful snowy day. And I can't wait to read to you all soon. Bye-bye.